evergreen line. I am the lone passenger of this train right now. Station is Lincoln. This is all during SkyTrain's trial running of the line, testing it out with automated trains, simulating regular passenger traffic. This is Lincoln Station, right next to the Whitlam Center, which you see over there. As you can see, this is my private limo. No one else on board. You can see a train coming in the other direction. Center Station. Brand new set of tracks. Still looks brand new. This is before all the wear and tear, all the use and abuse. You can see the turn here, and then Coquitlam Center is coming up right there. Approaching the platform, there's people working on this platform you can see there. There's a lot of work going on right now with uh, decorations of each station, putting the last uh, few touches. Still no one coming on board. Whitlam Central Station. The tracks are now going to elevate in order to go above the railroad track. the um, evergreen yard which is where they will do uh, maintenance and storage of trains as you can see from those red lights there those are trains that are currently parked on the yard here that was all part of this evergreen project this is where they park spare trains and they uh, they fix them and maintain them another train coming up down there we are of course going in the inbound direction and I was started going downhill because we're approaching inlet inlet center station which is actually below grade it's technically a small little box tunnel as you can see here the 
there's no one here either. I will show you the outside quickly. Beautiful tile work here. Now we're leaving Inlet Center. Now the tracks will elevate again. Technically leaving Woodlum and entering Port Moody. At this point, the uh, the tracks will run along the railroad track that you see down there. And on that track is where the West Coast Express runs. And we are approaching the next station, which is Moody Center Station. And Moody Center Station is actually where the SkyTrain and the West Coast Express meet. It's a shared station. Passengers can hop from one train to the other. There's another train there arriving outbound. I spent a lot of uh, days working at Moody Center Station, so I know the station very well. Moody Center, right there. It's a beautiful station. It's a bit of a hybrid in order to allow passengers to go to uh, the West Coast Express without going to the SkyTrain. That's what that overpass up there is for, is in order to access the West Coast Express for people that are entering the station. Okay, now we're leaving. All right, the trip continues. It's about to get a little more interesting here, or at least for me. because soon we will be entering the Evergreen Tunnel. Evergreen Tunnel, over the course of the construction of this project, caused a lot of headaches, a lot of controversy. But once we got through all that and it got done, it's actually quite the impressive tunnel from an engineering perspective. Now we are elevating a little bit. Go past the switch and now we will go back down and we are approaching the north portal of the tunnel, which basically goes inside of uh, Burnaby Mountain. So here we are approaching the tunnel. It's about to get loud here. I walked this tunnel so many times, 2.2 kilometers long. We are going uphill in the tunnel right now. What you see on the right wall is uh, you see a black cable running along the wall of the tunnel. That cable is a radio cable in order to provide uh, radio coverage within the tunnel. It's very important. That's uh, actually one of my babies. I focused on the radio of this project along with my teammates. And the uh, hangers that you see right underneath our cable, 
that are, those hangars are still empty. Uh, those are from Rogers Wireless. Rogers is going to install their own cable right underneath ours and they are going to provide cell phone coverage within the tunnel. What you see here is half of the tunnel which is for the inbound direction. There's a dividing wall in the center between the two directions so you can't see the outbound track which is on the other side. Now we are approaching the light at the end of the tunnel. That would be the south portal. And we're going to go back outside to open air. And there you go. Now we are uh, approaching for Quitlam Station. So we're technically in, in Burnaby now. The Burquitlam part of Burnaby. The next station is Burquitlam. Burquitlam is a really nice station cosmetically. Lots of glass, lots of daylight. Open roof, but um, like all the others, basically. But of course, the, the platform area for passengers is covered. For Quitlin Station. And I still have no other passengers on board. smooth ride so far. And off we go. Now the next station is Low Heat Center Station, which is an existing station. It's where the Evergreen Line merges with the Millennium Line. And that will be my stop. We do a bit of switching here on the tracks. That will be my stop because I just want to cover the evergreen stretch. But this train will pick up passengers at Lohi Center and will continue all the way to VCC Clark, which is technically the end of this trajectory. For those that don't know, the Evergreen Line is technically an extension of the Millennium Line. So the trains will be running from BCC Clark all the way to Lafarge Lake Douglas Station. We see another uh, train coming up this direction, going outbound. This is my first time riding this stretch of the train, uh, of the line. It's kind of cool. I haven't seen this part before. This area, of course, has been booming with construction. All right, uh, we're stopping here. So, I'm sorry, we're not stopping. We're slowing down. Better not stop. is a sharp turn. That's why they gotta slow down these trains. All right, and we are approaching the new platform of Low Heat Town Center. And this is where I'm gonna get off. This video is approaching 15 minutes right now, which means it takes 15 minutes to travel the line one way. Low heat 